What's going on, man? Back again with another do-it-yourself situation. So look, check this out. I got a uh, 09 Impala. It came back. The renter said that uh, it has a ABS and traction light on. So right there in my head, I already know anything dealing with ABS or a traction light has something to do with the wheel bearing. One of the wheel bearings has something going on with it. It may not be a bad wheel bearing. It may be wiring. But something going on with the wheel bearing. ABS system, traction control, is something going on with the wheel bearing. So what I'm going to do is I got my my scan scan tool I got from AutoZone. It cost me, I think it was $100. So I'm going to plug it up to the car so it can tell me which side it's coming from. So... Start this thing up. Plug right into here. Let's see if we can get a read. Come on, what is going to be? Okay, of course, there's no check engine light on, so it's not going to say anything about check engine. So we have to go. We're looking for the ABS. Looking for ABS. So this. Okay. So call zero zero three five. Left front wheel sensor circuit. Left front wheel speed sensor circuit, signal erratic. Okay, so that right there tells me automatically. When it say signal erratic, that means it's working, but it's not really working. And it's getting false signal from somewhere else. So that automatically tells me it's wiring. My, my, my wheel bearing is not bad. So what I went and did is I removed the left front wheel because that's the one that said it was. So, okay, what I found out was See, on these cars, right, the speed sensor on Impalas from uh, 09, nope, 06 through 2013, the actual speed sensor is made into the wheel bearing. So, automatically, what I did was unplug, I'm going to get back here, I'm going to unplug the wheel bearing, which goes right here. So I unplugged that. It's actually some wires that plugs up to it. So what I did was I went ahead, I went ahead and peeled back the covering that was on it. And this is what I found. I found a break in the covering, the protective covering. So this potentially may be where it's coming from. It may not look bad to you guys but all it takes is like you said it's an erratic, erratic signal so it just all it takes is another signal to interrupt it and that's enough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape all this up I'm going to tape it up and we're going to see what we got there what I went ahead and did was I cut I cut back a little bit more of the black the black protective uh, coating just so I can get a better grip so when I put my electrical tape on it, I can really get into the crevices. Also, when you when you tape this up, make sure you tape up one wire. Like, don't tape them up together just yet. So what I'm gonna do now is, because I taped up, I took the yellow wire and I taped it off by itself. So it's not touching it right up against the other wire. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape the whole entire thing together like this. And that tape right there is creating a barrier between the blue wire and the yellow wire. Now that I got it all wrapped up tight, I even wrapped some more of the black coating that was already on there. Now I'm just gonna plug this thing in. I'll plug this thing in before I put it back in place just to see if what I did really worked. So the light, the traction light, and the ABS light is still on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to see if I can reset it. See if it's a way for me to reset it. 
Tour Ideas See if it pop back on after I reset it Okay, I got that I want to clear them codes Let's see They went off But that's not going to mean anything we got to see if it's going to come back on. One thing for sure, it's kind of hard to try to trick a computer into thinking it's doing something that it ain't. So basically, all the stars got to align when it comes to cars and computers and everything like that and sensors because if not, it's going to throw you a call. It's going to tell you what's wrong with it. Like a little baby, you ain't got to guess what's wrong with it. It's going to tell you what's wrong with it. As long as you got the proper tools to read it, you'll be okay. So far... The traction control light have not came back on. The car been sitting here running for about five minutes. And I honestly think we fixed it. I'm going to take the wheel and put it back on and see what we got. I'm going to drive it around and see if it come back on then. Yeah, I know I skipped this step in the beginning. I ain't show you guys how to take off this wire. So I'm going to show you a reverse process. First, uh, of course, you got to put all this back in into this casing. Put all of it back into the casing. Because I wrapped that other wire up, this wire is kind of exposed because it's a little fatter than the original one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply take tape and I'm just going to wrap this part. I'm going to wrap about this much of it up. There you go. I wrapped it all up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start placing them back in the clip. This is the steps that I didn't show you guys in the beginning. But I'm going to show you now. These things simply clamp back in place. There's a couple of them. Just like that. I can't really see through here. I actually can use my phone to look. position and you're gonna plug it up that's how it looked plugged up and now you just gotta slide this onto the clip just like that and there you go don't worry about this slack in here you got to think this wheel thing is constantly turning so it needs to be slack and that's actually where the problem came in that that's where the broken wire came in at if this thing is always turning, if this wheel is always turning back and forth, it's going to break the wire. So this not even, this is a common problem. This ain't going to be the last time it's happened. The wire is going to get frail as they move. And they're going to get frail and they're going to have a little exposure break. The tire back on, we're going to shoot this thing around the corner real quick just to see. Let's see if it come on now. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nothing so far. We're going to shoot it around the corner and we're going to pull it back up. We're going to see if it popped on. We made it around the block. No lights have came on. I think we fixed the problem, guys. I know we fixed it. I really didn't even have to go around the corner. I just wanted to make sure. So just a quick recap. Don't mind me sweating, man. Close this so the light won't be in the way. Anyway. Yeah, quick recap. If you have a 2006 to 2013 Impala and the ABS and attraction control light like, come on, don't get don't panic. See what happens is every time you turn our wheel, it got wires connected to it. So those wires that's connected to it become frail it's like bending you bend anything for too long it's gonna become frail and it's gonna break have some sort of break in it so that's what happened on this particular impala so the code that came up was a zero zero three four if i'm not mistaken or three zero whatever it was it was basically saying that the traction control light and the abs speed sensor was throwing erratic signals so off off rip we already know 
it's not necessarily the the, the uh, wheel bearing. Because if it was the wheel bearing, you would hear a wheel bearing. There's no way to hide the sound of a wheel bearing. You know that the wheel bearing is bad. And it will also throw the same exact code as what we just got. So cool. We didn't hear anything before we uh we took the wheel off. So we knew off, off bail that it is actually some sort of wiring going on. Plug the, the scan tool up and it gave us the code and we checked it. We checked it and we found out that the wire was broke. We exposed the wire and we just found out that the wires was broke. So what we did was we just simply taped it back up and made sure the connection stayed within its range. So yeah, don't take your car to a mechanic and let them tell you whatever. Now you know. It could possibly just be wiring. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later.